And we're really excited about our new fellowship program. We have master teachers, four master teachers from Western New York who are at the center for five days this summer working on lessons, researching Jackson, and they're doing some really fantastic work. And I'd like to call them up right now at this point. And I'm gonna... And I'm going to let them introduce themselves and their school district and the project they're working on. Good evening. I'm Junie I. Miller, and I have taught secondary English at Southwestern School District for the past 14 years, and I've worked as an adjunct at Jamestown Community College for about the last seven. When I applied for this fellowship originally, my intention was to just broaden my professional scope and to tap into this gem of a resource that we have here in Jamestown, the Robert H. Jackson Center. And then ideally I wanted to take back to the classroom what I've learned here and share it with students, many of whom who are not aware of Robert H. Jackson and his life accomplishments. Fortunately, uh, upon receiving the fellowship, it didn't take very long for me to realize what an incredible opportunity this was going to be. Uh, first and foremost, I was struck by the community of prominent individuals who are just so passionate about Jackson. And that passion is contagious. Um, as an educator, it's very exciting for me to be able to uh, learn so much and ultimately bring it back to the classroom to the kids. And secondly, I cannot say enough about how humbled I have been and how fortunate I have felt to be in the midst of such brilliant minds this past month. To be able to listen to lectures, converse with the likes of David Crane and John Barrett and Jim, and have dinner with Professor Freed. Opportunities like these are so rare and it has been a highlight of my professional career. So I am very thankful to Greg Peterson, the society, the donors, the board, the education committee, and anybody else who had anything to do with it. <laughs> so, uh, and finally I'd just like to say, um, Upon completion of my fellowship project, which is to focus on the persuasive appeal of Jackson's writing, I hope that I can reciprocate what the center has done for me. Uh, I really hope that I can provide a polished product that you are proud to have on your website and that really accomplishes the fellowship goal of capturing Jackson's legacy. So thank you so much for the opportunity and I look forward to a lifelong fellowship with the center. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lynn Kuchke. I am a special education teacher at Pine Valley High School in South Dayton, New York. Uh, my um, project is focusing on Robert H. Jackson and it's called Robert H. Jackson and Me, Who Is That Man and Who Am I? And what I've done is I've fully integrated the lesson for elementary, middle, and high school students. And I have a contingency where there's videos, there's literature, and we're also working with the writing component. So um, I think it's excellent that I'm here at the Jackson Center. It is a great um, opportunity for me to enhance my learning and teaching in areas that I wasn't as familiar with. And I again would like to thank the Jackson Center for this honor and privilege to be able to work with the educational team that I've been placed with. Good evening. My name is James Gang. I teach in a small school, Hamburg, New York, which is just south of Buffalo. I teach Global 2R, and uh, Robert H. Jackson was in my state of the exam this year, which was pretty cool. And I also teach, teach a Holocaust and Genocide Studies class. I'm a museum teacher fellow for the Holocaust Museum in Washington, as well as a co-director of the Summer Institute for Human Rights and Genocide Studies with Andrew Blyder, who uh, can't be here today. Um, I spend most of my academic and professional life researching the Holocaust and working with the literature of the Holocaust, and, and that's how I come across Robert H. Jackson. And that's how I came across the opportunity for the fellowship. Uh, in my research and in my teaching, uh, one of the most difficult topics to tackle, I find, is Holocaust denial. My students are always asking me about that. And this opportunity here uh, was a perfect fit because I want to be able to provide my students with the weapons, figuratively, to uh, combat Holocaust denial and uh, the best weapon, and I feel that it's one of Robert H. Jackson's greatest legacies, is the work he did at Nuremberg to uncover evidence of um, 
one of the worst events, if not the worst event in human history. So my project will deal with the evidence that Jackson uncovered uh, during the Nuremberg trial uh, and, and using that evidence to, to combat Holocaust denial. So uh, I am also looking forward to a lifelong fellowship here and working beyond my project, creating new projects and working with everybody on the educational team here. And I would also like to thank um, all of uh, the people in this room because without you, I certainly would not be here. So thank you very much. Hello, my name is Tim Redmond. I, I'm also from just south of Buffalo. I teach, I live in East Aurora, but I teach in a school district about 10 minutes north of Buffalo. It's called Williamsville. I teach global history, um, AP government, and then we have a really wonderful elective program. So I teach a class on U.S. history in the 1960s. And then I actually, how, how I came to become involved with the Jackson Center, I <coughs> joined the, the Summer Institute as a teacher, and that's where I met Jim and, and, uh, and Drew. And we came down to the Jackson Center and actually saw David Crane speak, and, and I was just blown away by, by the programs and the opportunities here. And so I've been attending some of the education workshops that they also provided. And so as soon as I found out about the fellowship program, I was immediately interested and was just absolutely thrilled to be chosen and to have this opportunity. But I, but I honestly have to say this has gone above and beyond my wildest expectations. Just to reiterate what Junie was saying, I mean, the experiences that we have had, the people that we have been able to speak with, is just been incomparable. And so I want to thank you for this wonderful opportunity. And, and again, I, I really hope we do make you proud because we really believe in the center and we believe in the mission. And the, the project that I'm working on, I, I'm really fascinated by Jackson's push for international law and uh, international institutions. And so that's what my lesson is focused on because I think that he was just so ahead of his time, not only for 1945, but even for today. And so I'm gonna be putting together a lesson that really gets students to think about the importance of international law and what that can mean uh, for the interactions between different nations. So that's what I'll be working on and, uh, and I'm having a wonderful time doing it. And again, I also look forward to a very long and fruitful relationship with the Jackson Center. So thank you so much for this opportunity once again. We are all so grateful. It's been great to work with these incredible educators. It's been great to work with this remarkable institution. And so from the bottom of my heart, thank you for making this possible.